So you want to level up your websites you deliver to your clients with animations. Now I don't blame you. Besides, most awards winning websites also have animations in them and they are looking amazing. But you don't need any development skills to create those kinds of animations. Greenshift offers four ways to create animations. If you're just starting out with animations, the first option is definitely something for you. The second option will be for you if you want to be more in control on what happens within your animations. And the third and the fourth one are my personal favorites. To help you understand where you can find each animation settings, I will go over them one by one and you can figure out which one you like the most. So let's level up your website and let's get to it. Let's start off with uh, finding the most easy one. So let's add a container and within the container we have a heading. So let's enter in heading. And when we go to the advanced top of the selected block, you already have some animations available. There are some presets that are there and when you select them, you can see already what's happening. Those are very nice effects actually. You don't need to use any code or whatsoever. It is already available in the free version of Greenshift. Now you can play around with the easing, which means how fast it will animate, slow ease in or it will slow ease out. You can change the duration if you want it to be slower or faster. You can even add a delay if you want to wait a few seconds before it happens. Now these kinds of animations will happen when the element is in viewport. Now I can showcase this by changing the size of the parent container. Let's put it to uh, not width. We need to change the height and we need to have the alignment to the bottom. So we put in flex grid and we set it to end. When we hit save and preview, you will see the animation happen when it scrolls into view. When it scrolls out of view, it resets and there it is again. So that's the most easiest way to use animations. So let's select that one again and hit reset. So the second place where you can create animations is in the CSS transform and transition. And if you're used to creating CSS animation yourselves, you have some experience with setting this one up. Uh, you can add some kind of hover effect or click active effect where you want to add a hover effect you can for instance shift the element in the y-axis when it's hovered you can also add some scaling if you would like to you can just play around with whatever you like you can even add different kind of transitions for instance again we have ease in and ease out and how much time it will take to do the effect. So that is the second place where you can add animations. And if you are wanting to learn animations, I suggest to start here just to get a feeling on what you can do with animations. Now let's go to the third place where you can add animations. It's in interaction layers. Interaction layers is a little bit difficult to explain in this video. So I will leave a card up in the top of this video so you can explore more about interaction layers but i can show you what you can do with interaction layers you can basically set a kind of trigger for example on the click and there will be an action happening now you can attach classes you can attach attributes you can change css properties uh, perhaps we can do that right now we can say transform and then skill to 1.5 so now when we click on this property it will change and scale it up to 1.5 so let's save it and preview and as you can see we clicked it and it's now bigger there are a lot of other animations you can do as well with this one for example you can create something like this where you scroll down and the video becomes bigger or the background changes you can also have something like this where there is a image coming in i have a tutorial for it on my youtube channel i will leave a link down below or in the card in the top and you can see how you can make this step by step 
so that's the third place where you can add animations and all these three are available in the free version of green shift so it won't cost you any money only time to get some experience with all these kinds of settings they are that are available and you'll be able to create amazing animations the fourth way of doing some animations you need to purchase the animation add-on there will be a link down below and you have to install both plugins mm -hmm. so the free animation plugin and the advanced animation add-on and when you have installed it you need to add a license you can find it in green shift and then manage licenses and you enter your key click activate and now it's active when you go back to your page you will see this button enable advanced animations and you can create all kinds of animations i really love playing around with this one you need to do it more often i guess because it's just so fun for example we want every letter to change uh let's say 20 pixels and perhaps we want to start with zero opacity and as you can see you have some fun little animations happening already this uses gzap under the hood so if you would like to learn more you need to understand gzap there's already a documentation available here as well that goes to gzap and in here you can learn all kinds of things which you can do with these animations so this allows you to do animations immediately but also on scroll also some other things and you can add extra animation change which will make sure that one animation happens to another and it's very very awesome to play with creating a video about the advanced animations would be a video on its own so if you're interested in that kind of video or any of the other ones please leave a comment down below so now you know the four essential places where you can find the animation settings to level up your client's website. So the basic one is the animation you see here. It's very easy to set up because there's already some animation types available for you. The second one is using CSS transform and transition. Then you have interaction layers, which is a little bit more complex to understand than how it works. And then you have the GZAP animation. So now you know the four places you can create animations and what kind of animations you can create there. I would highly recommend with creating animations and try out each of them to see which one fits you best. Now I've played with interaction layers and you can find a playlist right over here that shows you how I made some animations step by step. If you're still watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more of these kinds of videos. And as always, keep designing.